Hi, welcome to Chemistry 1001. We're talking about thermodynamics. Uh, this mini lecture is about the Gibbs free energy and its relationship to the amount of work that you can get out of a chemical reaction. Right, now it turns out that delta G for a reaction is a very, very important quantity. Delta G actually tells you the maximum amount of work that you can get out of a system. Remember, delta G has units of energy. Uh, so delta G is actually the maximum amount of work that you can get out of that chemical reaction. If delta G is negative, uh, it's exergonic, meaning to say that it's work producing. Delta G is negative, And the amount of work that you can get out of that is the positive amount of that. So if delta G is minus 10 kilojoules, you can get positive 10 kilojoules of work out of that reaction. If delta G is positive 10, it means you have to put in 10 units of energy to make that reaction occur. So the enthalpy released in a reaction is not always available to do work. The enthalpy is the heat, remember, extensive, as is the work. E.g., if the entropy of the system decreases in the reaction, for example, if the system becomes more ordered, um, it takes some energy to force the system into this ordered state, and this consumes some of the energy released. So not all of the energy released can be used to do work, especially if the system becomes more ordered. On the other hand, if the entropy of the system increases, for example, if the system produces more gases, that would be the system becoming more disordered. Then uh, energy becomes available to do work because um, if a system becomes more disordered, we have uh, more work. In addition to the enthalpy available, we have the possibility of getting work from that increase in disorder because remember delta G is essentially a proxy for disorder and that's the interesting thing um, this delta G which I've told you is essentially negative entropy uh, that tells you that negative entropy is related to the amount of work that's available from a system so just by virtue of the fact that the system becomes more disordered means that that allows work uh, to be obtained from that chemical reaction. For a non-spontaneous reaction, delta G is the minimum amount of work you need to put in uh, to make the reaction occur. Actually, you have to reverse the sign. If delta G is negative five units of energy, that means you can get that amount of work in. If delta G is positive, uh, you have to uh, uh, put that amount of work or energy into the system to make sure that that would happen.